Hi there guys and welcome to Stray Cat Crossing. Before we actually start the episode I want to say a few words because it is important, so listen up closely. I uh, recorded Stray Cat Crossing and totally forgot that the Bandicam doesn't record cutscenes in RPG Maker games. It only does when you record the screen and not the game. And so I, ha I have my game footage but no cutscenes in the game footage, which kinda sucks. There was one cutscene that was important to the story and a few like uh, random appearing, um, well not cutscenes, but you know, something alike, like jump scare cutscene or something. But they weren't really scary. So I decided I record the, uh, the, the cutscene that is important for the plot and I left out the other ones. Just because I don't have the time to edit uh, and uh, do all that shit right now. I'm really, really sorry. I'm on a really busy schedule right now. So every time I stand still on the screen, s uh, something popped up. Like, uh, a cr usually it was a crib most of the time. It was most of the time a crib. And it wasn't really scary, so you didn't miss out, sh miss out much. Sorry for the spoilers and stuff, but as mentioned, you did not miss anything out. It These jump scare cutscenes did not do anything scary-wise or story-wise. So I just left them out for today. And as mentioned, uh, up to, uh, during episode 2 I realized that I didn't record co uh, the cutscenes and then I changed the setups. Okay, and now without further ado, Enjoy the episode. Hello and welcome everybody to Stray Cat Crossing. This is a RPG Maker game and one that I didn't even know existed. It is on Steam, I totally have no idea how I did never see this game, but I never did until I was given it by Poyechani1994, a subscriber of mine. Thank you very, very much for giving this game to me, it is super nice and a big Jeki from Germany to Poland. Which means thanks for the other people. <laughs> so, I guess it's a horror game because I know by now that PewDiePie played it. So, judging by that, I guess it's a horror game. But that's all I know about it. So let's jump right in. Hmm. Oh, I can already... Ah, okay, that is how this looks. Ah, and I can run, okay. So by the looks of it, it has some uh, Alice in Wonderland flair, I'd say. And it is called Stray Cat Crossing. So, maybe it's something Alice in Wonderland-ish. Hello. Oh, the, is that a girl or is that a man? Oh, let's assume it's a woman. Hey, are you okay? Uh, that is obviously a little girl. What's wrong? Are you lost? I'm scared. I want to go home. It's pretty late. Do you know where your house is? Yes. Yeah, let her go alone. That is a wise idea. It is that way. Ah, okay. <laughs> I see. I can take you home if you want. Don't you want to go home? Okay. Hmm, going with a stranger. Did your parents never teach you that you don't do that? Huh? What's wrong? Cold. Oh. Hey, what are you going to give her? Take my scarf, yeah. I bet that's helpful. Well, maybe on a psychological level. Better? No, that looks stupid. Uh, I have to say though, like, uh, I have no idea on what engine this is done. This is pretty, pretty unique looking. On the other hand, I have no idea about how RPG Maker works, so... But it's, uh, it is pretty unique looking, I gotta say that. I don't see games, um, game graphics like that often. Too tight. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. Here, let me let me fix it for you. Better? Warm. Great. By the way, what's your name? Cat. Oh. Okay. So is this something surrealistic? Nice to meet you, Cat. Let's take you home. Or maybe cat like Catherine. Hmm, didn't even think about that. By the way, I'm not moving. 
Fridge Games. <laughs> well, it's a name. That is that music intense. Nothing good. Nothing good. A story by Jolo and sorry, someone else. Yeah, that's why you don't walk with little kids on the streets. Good thing Cat isn't stupid. Oh, a mansion. Yes, I love mansions. Mansions are always the best in horror. Like nothing, at least for me, nothing scares me more than a mansion. It's easy, actually it's easy and obvious why. A mansion is not gigantic, but it's enough room to explore and at the same time you're, uh, it's like a prison, you know, you, usually you can't get out. Which is often stupid, because usually you ca probably could flee through windows and such, but you know, you have uh, to believe in the game logic. Is this your house? Yes, here is fine. Are you sure? Uh, you and your dots, yes. Well then, take care, cat. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Are you already dead or something? I, I don't trust little girls in games that much. Um, thank you. Hey, wait, my scarf. I can't lose that scarf. Oh, goody, goody, goody. So can I... No, I can't save by myself. Do I have items? No, I don't. Okie dokie. Well, uh... Should I explore around here? But there is probably nothing here. I can't go back. Yeah, I can't lose that scarf. Okay. So, on the way to inevitable doom. Hello. Creepy ghost mansion. The door is open. Enter? Uh, I don't have that much of a choice now, do I? Cat's house. Cat? I gotta say though, the perspective is a bit weird if you... If you're not used to it, like from a bit too much from the top. Or is that just me? Oh well. P picture? Ah, you're the saving point. Hold st still. Ah, cool. Yay. And each and every time I get a picture taken, it takes away my soul. Well, if you have ever watched me play any games, my soul will be gone in the end of the game because I save all the time. Kinda creepy, but mesmerizing. Oh, I can barely hear the music. Wait a minute. So, I turned up the volume a little bit. You know, I usually do my sound check on the loading screen. The thing is, when the loading screen is much louder than the rest of the game, we have kind of a problem. So, what is this? Complete Poems, Emily Dickinson. I've heard of her. Yeah, basically nearly everybody heard of Emily Dickinson. Ah. A cat must have went this way. Oh, or because of the bloody footsteps. Yeah, you've got a point, lady. Ah, huh, it's locked. Well then. Let's go after the bloody footsteps. Seems legit and logical. Just a kitchen stool. It's pretty dark outside. Better not play with fire. Okay. Well then, let's go after her. Down. Oh, whoops. Oh. Well, I went the wrong way, but this is also a fascinating way. Yeah. What was that? Okay, so that was a yeah, no. Let me just save in case this was uh, important that I have met this fucker. Oh, it's actual pictures. That's cool. So let's go after the little creepy girl. Yay. Hey, do you know the man with the crazy going hat? Basement. Cat, are you in here? It's locked. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh. Alright, that's actually not as bad as I expected it to be. So it really has a surreal touch, I guess. Look! L oh, well, you're like a little baby now. Look! Look at the hack! That is not very nice. Oh, you change your head around. Huh, then do you need two voices or are you okay with one? No, the big guy gets a different vo voice. Look what the cat directing. A guest! A guest! 
We must look our best. We've never had a guest before. A sight for sore eyes, isn't it? That's a sore lie, isn't it? Hoo-hoo. Wordplay. Isn't it? Isn't it? Hehe. <laughs> Who are you? Don't be so innocent. <laughs> Got my laugh. <laughs> hear that? Hear that? We are that. Well, she never met us, did she? Did she? Did she? Precious, isn't she? Have you seen a little girl around here? Little girl? Little girl? Aren't you a little girl? I'd like to leave, please. She'd like to leave. To leave the nerve. The peeve with grief. Wow, you're like the worst kind of creepy poets I've met in a long while. Is there a way out? Out, yes. Doubt, yes. Ooh. A favor, I declare a favor. A favor. Honor the favor and then she can leave. The nerve, the beef. Okay, what is the favor? Our favor, she asks. Please, miss, it's not a hard task. The stupid, useless whoop ba da ba da ba da ba da dwelling putra the putustless pile of a matia. Ah, okay, that. Can you tell me its name? Here, here. Then you can leave. Leave us behind. How unkind. Okay, so I have to find out the name of this dirt thingy here. A knee sculpture of a swan. It's beautiful. Oh, an ice. I was already already wondering who the hell is Anis? <laughs> an ice sculpture of a swan. Just a sink and mirror. Well, doggy with a human hat, what do you have to say? A dog, I think. Well, well, just a sink and mirror. Ah, dear kind photographer. Yes, please, picture. By the way, the irony. You're blind and you're taking pictures. Are you aware of that? You probably are, aren't you? Ah, this is where the cool kids are, huh? Yeah. Toys, books, and chemicals. It's an old diary. Read entry. Yeah, sure, why not? May 18th, 1912. To be honest, I find their back garden as terrifying as it is fascinating. The creatures that lurk there can only be described as cunning and monstrous. And yet the plants that take root there. I never could have dreamed of them. The flora seems ordinary, but their properties are... I dare say, magical. For example, the extract of rose emanates warmth, even in the coldest conditions. Okay, rose emanates warmth. Okay, I can remember that. The rest is scribbled out. Good. Now, how does that help me with my name problem? A horned sheep skull hanging over the fireplace. Its mouth is chained and locked shut. Hmm, maybe that will eat, you, uh, eat us later. A blanket hung on the wall. It has yellow ducks on it. A blanket hung on the wall. It has pink rabbits on it. Okay, that might be important. A planet model hangs over the crib. A dead bird hangs over the crib. Yeah! A plane model hangs over the crib. Huh. And who of these children will be the creepy fucker, I wonder? Ah, a flask containing a blue chemical. A flask containing a red chemical. A beaker containing a green chemical. A rack of test tubes. Take test tubes? Yeah, sure, why not? To view items? Yeah, yeah, I know how to work. RPG Maker. Okay, yeah, sure, why not fill the test tube? I just saved. So what do I do with that? Do I combine that with, with uh, green or something? Take test tube. Yeah, can I have another one, please? Oh, well, first I'll fill in green. Yay. Yes. So, what do I do? Ah, uh, no. Items, yeah. Can I, like, combine them? No, I can't. Hmm. Oh, the colors. Wait a minute. Like, yellow. Wait a minute. Yellow and pink. But I can't do yellow and pink or something. Huh. P picture? Yeah, sure, why not? 
What? I have three save files. I swear to God, if this game has multiple endings, I'll kill you. Or I'm not gonna play all the endings. <laughs> Either or. Yeah, pour the red potion over the swan. Why not? Ah, because it uh, it is warm. I see. You know, rose indicates warmth, and red is probably for rose. Something like that. And why did I save again? I am a bit overly saving. Oh well, oh well. Let's check the next creepy room. Hey oh, How are you doing here? Hey, a nutcracker. So, all the things we love and love. My... Do you still possess a nutcracker like this? My grandma actually possesses one, and I love this... Uh, I love this thing. Ah, nuts! <laughs> I wonder if he... Uh, if the nutcracker of my grandma would be as funny, though. If it could talk to me. I have to ask it one time when I'm drunk or something. Oh, that is all you say? Well, well then. A bust of someone important. Hmm. A golden plaque. A memory of Dr. Johann Faust. 1868 to 1912. What was Faust's name? Like, do you know the German play Faust by Goethe? Heinrich! Heinrich! No, 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 this is not the Faust from the play. If it is the Faust from the play, then it's just a reference. An old film reel. Pick it up. Yeah, sure, why not? Put it in. Yeah, sure, why not? So, this is the part that I actually needed to record differently, you know? That is important for the plot, different than the other jump scares, who really are worthless. I'm sorry, <laughs> but who really are worthless. Oh, I hate Bandicam. By the way, I really like the music, though. Oh, and uh, I was speculating during my first video, I actually cut that out now, that it is strange, like, is is there some creature that is taking over the son and then the father that uh, was created in the dark or something like that? Okay, so... Oh, hi. What is What exactly is that supposed to tell me? It's offering an egg. Take the egg. Yeah, sure, why not? God neck. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm a nice person. Ain't I? An old bass. Its strings are broken. An old guitar. Someone blah blah blah. Why is this lamp post indoors? Mm, that's the only thing you're wondering about? You have strange priorities. An old fashioned record player. Ah, okay. Well then. Another flashback? No. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, that's probably no flashback, though. That's something surreal I don't understand. Okie dokie. Well, uh, gentlemen, I have a suspicion what the name is. It's probably Johann Faust or something. Well, I'm not too sure, but let's try it out before we end the episode. So we have done something, at least. Gentlemen. Oh, the stupid, useless butt. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. Can you tell me its name? Yeah, sure. It's... Ah, okay, so Faust, not Johann. Faust. 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 Ah, oh, there is the U. Oh, it's just the alphabet. It's not a keyboard. Whoops. <laughs> Faust. Yes. Which means fist, by the way. There are many jokes about Faust in German. Well, actually, now that I think about it, there's like one, and that isn't even good. Correct. 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 How? Foul play, I suspect. Must be. Must be. Must be. Must we ask for another favor? Must we? We must. We must and hate her. Another favor will right the wrong. Favors for favors. Bring us the favorite fruit of the ram. Now scram. Okie dokie. So what did we learn from the film before we end this episode? Is this something like they once were normal and then this thing came? And first overtook the child and then the father. Well, it seemed at least that something was like possessing first the child 
and then the father, because in the beginning, as this child as well as the father seemed normal. So something happened probably here. Oh, this is all just a gigantic metaphor I don't understand. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. So, Stray Cat Crossing looks interesting enough. So we'll go on playing. I wonder if this will, if this is really like more like this surreal horror, or if this will actually get like fucking intense <laughs> at some point. I mean, I like both. I like both. So, I have no uh, preference. I'll just let myself be surprised. Wow, that was such a German uh, sentence that just sounds horrible in English. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Come back for the next episode, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.